my name is Ayşe Çağla Balaban and I'm coming from University of Greenwich. So basically um, I will talk about the low velocity impact behavior of the um, sandwich composite materials that we uh, manufactured with the collaboration of um, Dokuzeyir University in Turkey. So um, I will start <coughs> with talking aim of the study then I will introduce the project and uh, I will show you the experimental testing process, then I will show you some of the results of the project, and then I will discuss the results, then I will try to complete the experimental steps. So basically the <coughs> main aim of the um, project was uh, to investigate the impact behavior of the sandwich composite material that we manufactured by using the vacuum infusion technique. So the basic <coughs> sandwich material is um, consists of e-glass epoxy face sheets and with PVC foam. So as I said, um, the composite sandwich was manufactured in Turkey. So. Uh, and then we used again the vacuum um, infusion technique. So as you all aware of it, um, the sandwich structures are getting more popular nowadays because of their um, two stiff and strong face sheets and a lightweight core. So in this study we used PVC foam and e-glass epoxy as face sheets and the foam. And to understand the uh, dynamic deformation and failure modes of uh, composite materials or other materials, the low velocity impact tests are mostly preferred to update the failure modes dynamically. So, <coughs> in this case, um, we chose uh, five different energy levels to obtain the um, impact response of the material. So we started with uh, 20 joules and now 40, 60, 80 and 100 respectively. So basically this is the um, dimensions of our specimen. So basically uh, the face sheet thicknesses are not the same. So uh, we chose the thicker face sheet as the upper face sheet and then the thinner one uh, the, as the lower one. So you can see the dimensions and the specimen dimensions were the square ones and they were like 100 millimeter to 100 millimeter so they were exactly the square ones. So also for the manufacturing um, you can see the uh, properties of it, uh, properties of the um, e-glass fabrics and the epoxies and the hardener if you are interested. <coughs> so basically um, for this uh, material uh, in our previous studies, in our previous papers, uh, we did some uh, experiments to obtain the material properties and then also we worked on the fracture um, behavior of the material uh, under mode 1 and mode 2 loading. So these are the, so this table is showing you the material properties of the same material. So. For metals, uh, basically we used a Fraktovis impact test machine and uh, the indenter was the hemispherical one and the diameter was 12.7 and the maximum loading capacity of the machine was 22.4 and then the, as I said the impact energies were five different levels starting from 20 joules till um, 100 joules. So basically, um, after the uh, impact testing, we can uh, obtain three different results. So the first one can be the rebounding due to the energy or due to the materials. And then the penetration part, again, uh, due to the uh, materials or energy levels. And then the perforation. So we uh, try to obtain these three results um, in our experiments. And then basically after the experiments um, to obtain the <coughs> impact characteristics, uh, we basically we um, obtain the force, contact force and time. 
contact force and displacement and contact force energy and graphs. So when we started with 20 joules for the contact force, it's obvious that um, when we increase the time or we increase the um, energy levels, basically the contact force was increasing slightly and even here as well. But for the first three, as you can see, we have only one peak load. So which means the, when we did the impact testing, basically the impact was only on the um, upper face sheet. So the indenture wasn't going through the foam or either the um, lower face sheet. So, but with 80 and 100 ones, as you can see, we got like two peak points. So and um, it's obvious that okay the first the indenter was going through the first phase sheet and then even the energy um, even the force levels are higher than the previous ones and even here as well for the first one and then um, it was going through the foam here and then it was kind of hitting the lower phase sheet below and then here you can see all the results actually it's not that clear but yeah and for the contact force and displacement curves again um, as you know the contact force and displacement curves are giving us an idea about the uh, absorbed energy levels during the um, low velocity impact test them so as we can see when we increase the um, energy levels the displacement levels were um, increasing as well and with the contact force of course and then <coughs> again for 20 40 and 60 juice we got only one peak load um, peak point as we can say but with these ones again as expected we got two peak points with the um, levels and for the energy curves, again, as we expected, the energy was increasing when we were uh, increasing the energy levels, and even the contact force was increasing with the energy here. And then the, again, with um, 80 juice and 100 juice, it was hitting the um, foam, and then it was hitting the second lower face sheet below and you can see the differences between them okay um, I'm not sure if you can see here but so basically these are the photographs of the real specimens so um, here it says the delimination and the in indentation so basically for the 20 June um, we only observe the indentation and the delimination here and as I said um, there was nothing on the um, lower faces so there was no damage and even the same thing for the 40 juice as well so there was no damage on the lower face sheet but on the top we observe the delaminations here and then the matrix crack on the center of the specimen just here again so for 60 we didn't have any damage on the lower face sheet but uh, the fiber cracks and the delamination started um, here too so again it's not really clear but we when we measured it uh, when we were increasing the energy levels also the impact area was increasing as well here too and even for the um, 81 it was the um, first energy level that also we seen some damages on the lower face sheet. So the upper face sheet we saw the fiber cracks inside here and the delamination just among the area. And for the lower face sheet we got some delaminations here, even here as well. And the fiber cracks were at the middle and the metric matrix cracks also occurred among the area 
And again, this is the 101. Of course, even the uh, area on the impacted area on lower phase sheet was increasing with the increase in energy level. So we observed the deluminations below and even the fiber cracks and the matrix cracks among the fiber cracks as well. And even on the um, top face sheet, so again we saw the deluminations and fiber cracks and again as I showed here, so the impacted area was increasing with the energy level even on the first um, on the upper face sheet and on the lower face sheet as well. So um, to conclude the presentation, so basically I tried to explain um, about the um, composite material uh, and the, so I tried to explain the impact, impact characteristics and the, um, some curves <coughs> due to the experimental results and according to the energy levels so we basically so um, where was the um, rebound in case finishing, where was the penetration case was going through the um, perforation case. So, and then um, this basically this, um, this impact behavior or the uh, dynamic behavior of the material is going to be helping us uh, when we are um, designing a composite structure for marine applications. So this was our aim, again, as I said before. So yeah, and also, uh, as I discussed, the small energy configurations didn't uh, cause so many damage on the lower phase sheet. And uh, uh, when we increased the energy levels, the damages even on the top, uh, top phase sheet and the bottom phase sheet, it increased as well. So these are the references that we use. Also, this is the study that we um, uh, we did the experimental, analytical, and numerical study to obtain the fracture behavior of the same composite material.